In this training video, we're going to look at master and sub projects. So the project in front of us we're looking at right now, this is going to be my master project. So in effect, what it is, it's a blank project with just one heading called project start, which is a milestone, it's a zero day duration. So I've got the master set up the date that I want to start the project on, which happens to be in this example, the 5th of June 2017. So what I can do here if I wanted to is actually bring other projects inside my master project and these would be called sub projects. Now just to show you an example of the sub projects, I've already got three sub projects open to show you the idea behind what I'm trying to achieve here. So what I'm trying to achieve really before I go and look at the individual projects is a master in effect is only a blank project with some kind of milestone in there to say about the project, in this case project start. And then you bring projects into the master project and these projects are called sub projects. So I'm going to show you three individual sub projects now. So my first sub project I'll show you is the job set of project consolidated. But those of you who see my other training videos, this is one that I've used frequently just to look at recruitment. So recruitment, we're recruiting an engineer and all of these steps and tasks are involved in the recruitment process. So we're going from designing a job specification to informing an applicant. So these are the steps for the recruitment part of it. So that's my first sub project. Then the idea behind this project is when I've, or when we as a company have recruited somebody, we then go on to look at training them. So we've now given them the, we've gone through the recruitment stage, we've recruited, we're now going to give the person who we've hired training to support them. So they're going on, for example, health and safety training, Excel training, management training, and on the job training. So we're being quite supportive here, we're in effect giving them 23 days training after recruitment. Even after rec rec recruitment then, and after training, there's another project then, another, su another sub-project, placement. We then place this particular person in different sections of our organization, example, administration, finance, and each section then has a look at the person we've, we've recruited and see is whether they can manage that this kind of, kind of person in their environment as well, to give them a, an opportunity to see the actual organization as a whole. So what that's what this, pro, this sub project is doing, is giving the person who's been recruited a chance to see different parts of the organization. So different parts then look at the person, there's a sign off, and that'll happen to multiple areas. And then down the bottom, we then choose whether we want a point, a point or a lease the person we've uh, recruited. And then it's process end. So in effect, the master is gonna join the three sub-projects together. That's what's gonna, what's gonna happen here. So if I go back to just show you the master again, which is the consolidated project, what I'll then be doing is bringing all the sub-projects in, and the idea then is to join them together to actually get a kind of time scale of how long it takes to recruit down to whether we accept them as a person for our organization or not. So let's see how this works. To make this work, master and sub project, I'm now going to first close the sub projects down and then I'll, I'll insert them. But before I shut them down, I just want to show you the start date of each of the sub projects. So I go into the job setup project. All I've said for this particular project, whoever's in charge of it, this needs to start on the 5th of June. And with the way it's linked together, it happens to go to the, the 25th of August. Now for the next sub project, I've just told the team lead of this project, just put in a date of the 5th of June to start it off. And we'll look at the date when we bring it into the master project to see what needs to happen. The same with the third sub project, which is placement. I've just said to the team leader, let's just put this project together, 
start it off on the 5th of June. When we bring it into the master, we'll then look at reviewing the date at that stage. So all, this, all the sub projects are now all set up for the 5th of June, the same as the master project. So now we know the dates they're working to. Now I'm going to start closing the sub projects. So I'll close them one at a time. One's gone. I'm going to close that one. And I'm going to close the job setup project. Right, so I'm just left now with the, the master project. So with the master project open, I'm now going to bring in the sub project. So here we go. It's the project tab and it's sub project. I'm going to bring them in one at a time. So I'm going to find them first. They're on my desktop. They're in the master projects folder. I go into sub projects. All right, here's the job setter project. So if I click on it and insert it, we can not see that's a 60 day project starting on the 5th of June, as I demonstrated earlier. If I maximize the sub project, I can then see all the links that have been designed for it, and I can see the way it's flowing. Now I can bring each project in one at a time. Now the guidance I will give you, if you are going to bring them in one at a time, don't leave it expanded because what can happen, a project can go inside another project. So I tend to minimize them when I bring my next project in. So with the project minimized, I'm going to bring my ne next sub project in. So same idea, project tab, sub project. We then go into the training project. Going to insert it. And again, that's starting on the 5th of June from the way it's been set up in the sub project. There we go. It's got five diff uh, four different tasks, all different durations. And again, starting on the 5th of June. Again, when you bring the next one in, I'm going to condense it. In comes the next one. Sub project again. Placement. Insert. Look at it. So now I can see I've got three separate projects within a project. So this is what's called master and sub project. So what you're doing is in effect having an overview of three projects, which are the sub projects within the master project. Now if I expanded all of these, I can now see they're separate projects. So there's my job set a project. I can see that's 60 days. I can see my training project is 23 days. And I can see my placement project is 56 days. And they're all starting on the 5th of June. And according to the links, they're all showing each section how long it's going to take. So the training's going from the 5th of June to the 5th of July. The placement, the way this has been set up, has gone from the 5th of June to the 21st of August. Now, if you look at this kind of project, well, what needs to happen in this case is each project should be starting one after another. Now, that's linking projects together. But if I were to leave it as it is now, all this would be would be an overview of three projects. And I can turn on the project summary task at this stage. So let's have a look at that. So if I want to turn on the project summary task, format tab, project summary task. And now I know these three projects happen to be 60 days. Now why it's taken 60 days is because the longest project is 60 days because job set up project is 60. Training project is 23, so that's less than 60. So that's why it's not looking at 23. And the placement scheme project is 56. That's less than 60. So that's why it's not looking at the 56. So really, all I've given myself right now is an overview for three projects. In this particular example, these three projects wouldn't work in isolation. They need to be linked to one another. So you first recruit. Then you train somebody, then you place them within the organization. So in this example, I would need to link the three sub projects within the master. Now, this isn't always the case. So when you are 
using master and sub projects you really need to know at the planning stage what you're trying to achieve so are you trying to link projects together are you just trying to have an overview of all of your projects now this is a big big decision when you're trying to control and set up master and sub projects but this now shows you how to set up a master with just one blank project with a milestone in it bring the sub projects then into the master project to then see an overview of multiple projects so that's really what a master project does it gives you an overview of multiple projects you might hear a few of a word called a words called program management that's really what master and sub projects are doing they're giving you an overview of multiple projects and that's what program management is all about is managing multiple projects so this concludes the video for the setup of master and sub projects.